Hey, orange one here. Um, we're gonna try and get to our gun ASAP, basically, right now. We've got a bit of a bad situation with Harvey trying to uh, hit a Kevlar Hulk into submission, and it's not going very well, as you could imagine. Oh, um, hold on. I did not mean to do that. Can I... Yeah, if I'm looking at Kevlar Hulk, the angle that I'm getting is not ideal. Oh, he's actually about to kill it. Nice, dude. Very nice. I didn't even need to didn't even need to get involved. How are you doing wound wise, man? Yeah, that you are you did get beat up a fair amount there by that dude. Uh hold on. Jane is what I want. I almost tried to grab the holster. That would make zero sense, right? Oh no, there's the corrosive. Don't even get a break. Oh. Um, Harvey, please stop charging at the acidic enemy. It's a really bad idea. Like a really bad idea. Yeah. Okay, so I think what I'm seeing here is... Okay, so first of all, stop running. Second of all, let's get into the car, and then we'll try and get down underground, because it looks like there's a lab underneath us. I'm almost positive. Yeah, we're okay. We're fine. Um, maybe reload the gun, though. Yeah. Probably a good call. There's a boomer right there. That's easy for us to deal with, though. Wait, did they just blow up? They just oh no, they didn't blow up. They sometimes the tiles I just don't see where they're standing. Oh, we should probably fix up our Jane. I just realized. Oh, let's let's uh, do some vandalism first, really quick. Oh no, no free vandalism for me. I should also probably heal up my torso. Uh, let's see. <laughs> we did vand vandalism there. Look. Vandalism. <laughs> oh, putrid zombie. Let's get you away from the car, because I don't know how that works with my companion. Luckily for me, I've got the gas mask on. West, I heard Womp. Um, I think we can get to that huge boomer and take them out then. Come here. Ah, that boomer didn't actually come here. Annoying. Um, there's actually a couple of them. Let's close that on you. Yeah, I'm gonna need to do some first aid on myself, it looks like. I do like trapping them in the cars, there's just something entertaining about that, though. And I kinda like sneak up on them like that. <laughs> kind of trapped in the car right there. Let's just stay near our car. I'll let the ethereal get into a fight with me. They are probably going to hurt me pretty bad though. Okay, let's, let's stop fighting him. No need. Let's just close that for a little bit. Get our breath back. Um, maybe do a little first aid as well, I'm not sure. Let's do a little first aid, I think that we need it. Um, 
definitely on that torso. Yeah, we'll do that, and that should, combined with our stuff, give us a good amount of healing. Uh, just like, what am I hitting? Something. Let's just, uh... Turn that around. Yeah, there's definitely... Oh, they're still standing up from me running over them. Definitely quite a few of them. I think we'll just give them another pass or two. Yeah, I think... I'm, I'm excited to check out this, uh, this other lab. Or potential other lab, you know? Okay, I think... Also, this is having the added benefit of clearing out some of the corpses for us. Like, if you've been watching, I've been kind of driving over some of the corpses. Oh, there's also items of ours that we still left out there. You know what? I think uh, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna finish them off. Let's stop running. Let's walk. And... Oh, wow. Well, yeah, look. Our molly pack there. And our things need to get fixed up, so I, I think we'll spend all the time fixing things up. If I... Oh, let's get out the acid. That was dumb. Oh, there we go. I was just wondering if I butchered one of these guys, would I get sinew? I think you do, but I'm not exactly sure the ratio of it all. Can I just... I'm just going to take a minute. I'm going to just do a little first aid. Anything that's in that light green, I just would like to heal up a little faster. Yeah, that looks good to me. Um, I think we're going to need some more rags, but maybe I'm wrong. Where would I get thread? That's the other question, because I'm going to need some thread. I mean, I know that this string and whatnot has thread in it. Um, can I just cut everything up? If I try and cut up the long string, does that work? No, it does not. Um, sure, go ahead and disassemble. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we'll go ahead and kill the smoker. I guess I got lucky with that one, huh? Um, I'm gonna grab that long string. Take that back to the car, I think. And there's still another snapper up there. How are you doing as well? He's okay. I think that he's honestly fine. I just need him to get some sleep and he'll be fine. Um, so what was I doing? I was going to get that tailoring kit. Tailoring kit, yep. You right there. And then the long string I was going to disassemble. Um, I had that zombie that's out there is going to just keep on being annoying. And I'm just going to ignore him. Okay, we got some thread and some short string, that's good. We don't need much, we just need enough to do some basic repairs. Is that a uh, survivor harness? Which, by the way, we I don't even remember the last time we used the butterfly, but I just want to carry it because it's awesome. I mean, I think really the issue with the butterfly is more of the fact that we can't be... Um, We can't have NPCs produce the rails for me, and if that was the case, I would love to do more of those, those things. Oh look, we're already out of the light green. We're already healed up. Um, let's see, I definitely want to reload that, because we're about to go into a lab, I'm pretty sure. And then the Jane I want to fix up as well. Which I'm pretty sure is the welder.
Actually, you know what? We need to get our Molly uh, backpack. And the coil gun. Nah, we'll leave that gun. It's only got one bullet left. Um, and then, let's see, where was it? Yeah, you. And I think that that's probably good gear-wise. Uh, actually, hold on. No, the tailoring kit and the coil... What? Did I drive over those? I must have driven over it. I think we'll need the firearm repair kit for the coil gun. Though so I think the coil gun I might just leave in the car because we like... I don't even remember the last time I used it. Honestly, you know. Is there... There's something around here. Yeah. Hello. Nice. <laughs> Come on. I was just saying how we had healed up and then that ethereal comes in and just... <laughs> Embarrassing me. Um, okay. Let's see what's going on up here. More zombies just hanging out by the wreck. Oh, there was... Oh, I put zombies inside that car, and now other zombies are getting attracted to the noise inside the car. Uh-oh. Um, repair nanobots is on. Let's get the sensory dueling going. What are you? Thorny shambler. That sounds bad. But you're not too bad. And I just take get a little bit closer to the car just in case. There's a pretty sizable group of them. I mean I think we could handle them. But it's like also what's the point of finding out if I can. Especially seeing how I'm gonna be um, going into that lab soon. Go ahead and open up just a little bit. Just so I can see their faces as we do this. That brute. Oh man, look at all these guys up here. There's a lot of them. Let's just uh, let's clear out a few of these guys. There's actually quite a few of them there. Wow, okay. Um, good to know, I guess. I'll just turn it around and kind of clear out this whole side, I think. Yeah, that was very effective. I like that. Man, Nosh is, uh... He's got some road rage here. There are actually some of them that are now slowing me down. I could take out that crystal. Oh, there's the hound. There's a lot of them though. That is definitely something that is something true for it. I like how the game, this actually feels like an infested city, you know? Like, it really does feel like this has a zombie problem. Okay, so I think that we've done a pretty nice job down here, but there's a lot of them that were up there that we're going to have to clear out. You know? Especially if there is a lab there, we're going to need to clear that out a lot more. Let's just do another pass just to see what we're working with. There's a lot of them up there. Like, look at that. Sizable group there. Though I think it is manageable. Very much so. Um, let's see. Just would like to not get flanked. 
is the is the thing. It's manageable. Just need to know that my back is safe. You know. I think that our back is safe here, though. We haven't seen too many come from the, this direction. Like this whole section here is pretty empty, as far as I'm concerned. Why don't we let the zombie come to us, get our stamina up just a little bit. Come on, there we go. And I think we'll just kind of go on foot from here. I don't know. There is a lot of corpses though around here that we need to take care of. I suppose I should just assume that the bodies on the ground still need to be taken care of. Because that's been essentially what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, come on, Smoker, you can you can catch up to me. I remember that because you guys are awful and can chase players down. <laughs> like new players down, and then you just get smoked and then overran by a horde. Well whatever was yelling out about like Oh no, they're still they're still yelling sentences. I thought maybe the zombies had killed whatever was down there. Um I think that it's cleared out enough for us to maybe try and go down down there now. If I listen to from the south and below. So there was something down here. There's something going on down in here, I'm pretty sure, underneath the dispensary. But maybe I'm wrong. They have an upstairs, not a downstairs. That's a shame. Well, if we ever needed any of this, like one of these plants alone will have you covered for a super long time. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to disassemble one because it gives you a hundred plant fiber. Like, honestly. I don't know what I was doing getting that thread. I should be doing that. Um, so if I have any shortage, I should just come back there. Uh, do I have my... I do actually have my tailoring kit on me if we need it. That might be a smart thing to bring down into the lab with us. I'm hearing gunfire. Yeah, I think this must be like the lab. It's like attached up here or something. One of these houses goes down. I know it does. It's also midnight. I just saw we're, we're doing this like literally in the middle of the night. Hello. Smoldering zombie, come here. And there we go. They're down. And that should mean that we're a little bit more clear to go downstairs. I'm just curious if I try and go downstairs. It could be the fact that there's just like a lot of basement around here. For some reason, I don't know, the version that I'm on has a hard time spawning basements. So yeah, I know that there must be entrance somewhere around here. What? Is it that I've stumbled across here? This is not a lab. Okay, um... That is shocking for me. Because I could have sworn that I was hearing stuff that was from labs. If we needed a little cocktail, we could do that. <laughs> um, okay, well... We need to find out where that Migo was coming from. But what's it I just heard from the southeast and below? I mean, there's definitely something going on underneath the street here. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna keep on going up. I think that my intuition was right. I'm pretty sure it's uh, this house on the right or something. Where's the corrosive zo zombie? Okay, you're coming from there. 
We'll pull you down, just so I don't get so overwhelmed by all those guys that are up there. Um, and then let's get the actual gun out that I can shoot you. I'm not fighting you, that's for sure. <laughs> I feel good because I finally have like gotten myself out of the issue of the backlog. I just like recorded essentially three episodes back to back of me doing combat. And I hope you guys enjoy that because I enjoy playing this. It's fun. For me. I think honestly have had a hard time playing some other games just because I, I, I enjoy the balance of this game and the combat so much. Like Cogmind, I think my issue with it is that I just don't really understand it fully. Like I just don't understand all the nuance of the controls. So it's been just kind of like hard for me in that regard to deal with that. Um, okay. So, Survivor Basement, okay, um, I think we're gonna have to shoot them though. Because I don't think they follow you upstairs for some reason, it's kind of annoying. Why don't we have a little snack? I am very much disappointed. I really thought we were going to have um, a lab here. But maybe I, I shouldn't give up. There's still hope. There's still hope for a lab. Oh, hold on. Let's get the actual Jane out for this. Um, okay, this is going to be kind of annoying. Oh no, I've got my Molly pack on still. I should not be doing this. Run. Get some distance between you and them. I totally messed up there. I think we're gonna have to just blast. Just get more distance, please. Oh no, I'm s I'm confused with this annoying guy. Yeah, this has gotta be a, a real big pain. Essentially, at this point, and I think that we got them under control. It's just kind of annoying. Oh, really? I did two damage with that bullet. What a waste of a bullet! Can I get a shot now? Oh, I can't. At least I'm getting some damage on this. There we go. I get more distance between us, thank you. There we go. I think that that's good for now. I'm gonna walk back to the car though. That nadir can chase me all they want, I'm not fighting them. I mean, I'll, I'll drive into them, I'm not fighting them. I know I should probably not run over those bullets and pick them up. Um, let's just go up a little bit and just get a look at what we're dealing with. And that Corosa zombie, I think I'll I'll take them out and take out the body of the other one while we can. Can I actually put you in my inventory? I just wanted to make sure that I didn't accidentally crush it, you know? Hold on. I wanted to at least destroy that body. Okay. I do have a lot more zombies to go, it looks like. Still not giving up though. Uh oh, that, that juggernaut though, that could that could be a problem for the car. 
cars don't typically do well with that. Okay, the closest to the gun is good. That's what I want. And then we'll turn this around. We'll see what we can do. Are they still coming my way? If they are. Yeah, there's like three of them. It looks like they're still coming this way. It's very much manageable. Uh, two of them. There's something around here as well, though. Do I want to just... Let's just close that for now. And just wait. Catch the prey. Yeah, that's not great. Though, it's only two... I'm not too concerned about just two zombies. The nadir. Why don't you come over here? Actually, there's a grabber behind me. Hold on. What? <laughs> don't punch him. Oh, do I still have my molly pack on? Yep, I do. And there it pretty much goes. Yeah, we're gonna... Well, all those items I need to... Yeah, anyways, fixed up. Come here. There we go, okay. Um, anything else? Anybody else? Nadir, where is that? North. I think I'll, I'll kill that Nadir, it's coming towards me. Oh, and we got a rotter as well. Come on. Oh my gosh, one hit. Nice. Uh, the rotter, I think that... Oh man, don't destroy my solar panels, man. These are my solar panels. Though, it's not like I really need any more. Yeah, we'll pick those up. Yeah, 50. Nothing to be scoffed at there. Um. Okay, I lost my train of thought. I mean, I don't even need to look at my notes because we're not even really doing what's in the notes. Uh, you know, my future notes, by the way, you know, that were written on a paper wrapper. Um, yeah. Don't really need that right now. Okay, I'm hearing stuff below me getting smashed, I think, is what's going on. Uh, tailoring kit. Nice. I like how we, like, basically can't destroy our gear anymore. Oh no! I ran out of charges. Uh, the plant matter though, remember? Plant fiber. Oh look, we also got more bullets. Sweet. I do want to repair that though, if I can. Yep. Ignore. Just keep on going. Cool. Uh... Oh, we even have more tailoring kit. Cool. We'll fix that then. I know we've got the leather. And I think that that's good then. So where's the sound coming from? Below us, right? Yeah. I'm just going to take a second and see what we can uh, find underneath the other houses after I get some more plant fiber. I mean, five minutes is not very long to spend for 100 fiber. The only better deal is if you're, like, fighting, I think it's the Triffids, and when you butcher them, you can get stuff like that pretty pretty easily. You get, like, large bulks of it. Okay, so that's actually the one I already went down, and I just forgot to mark it. Northeast, I'm hearing crash. It's a smoker zombie. Smashing my solar panels again. There we go, there's the smoker. How's my gas mask? My gas mask is at a quarter charge. Oh my gosh, look at all those putrid zombies. It's actually kind of terrifying. I mean, I know that I can take them, so I think I'm just gonna stand my ground. Yeah, it's just standard ground. Come on. Gosh, this ethereal 
those zombies. We've got a lot of experience with uh, fighting though in this episode. It hasn't really brought up our level all that much, but it's uh, I think it's it is slowly working on things. Okay, we are getting eight alive right now. I don't like that. Let's get out our gun. Okay, that looks good to me. Okay, stop running. Just finish things up, I think. I'm gonna grab our mo molly pack and our welder. Hold on. Just so that we're on the move in case we need to be. We're just gonna get back to our car. Man, how many blocks do we make in this? I don't even know. Because I think we've been trying to get up in here. Yeah, we have we've got like one block. <laughs> oh, man. By the way, is that, uh, if you know, is that the uh, special thing that has like the un secret underground base? I think it is, but I can't confirm, really. Okay. Um... Uh, oh, hold on. I'm just going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.